Welcome back to my lousy uploading schedule. I mean, you can't really be welcome back to that, but hey, today we're going to show you guys. I'm, I'm, we're we're going to show you guys. Yes, exactly. I'm going to list the coasters by Gravity Group, a great wooden coaster manufacturer. And boy, I wish they made more coasters in the U.S. So here, here's what we got. They, start, they all started off with Hades in 2005. It was a pretty darn big wooden coaster. The, the largest at Mount Olympus, they have like four wooden coasters there, Zeus, Cyclops, Pegasus, and this one. And in 2013, they added that inversion you see right there and added 360 to the name. So yeah, it, it, I guess it's kind of rough, uh, but it's still a pretty cool coaster. It goes pretty fast, too. So it's cool. It has that sweet underground tu tunnel and everything. It's cool. Uh, next up, what could possibly be the greatest wooden coaster in the world? The Voyage at Holiday World. Man, this is a big wooden coaster. Taller than Mean Streak. Man, that, that's saying a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big wooden coaster, not not as big as El Toro, but it's longer, and man, you get some crazy good airtime here. It's very very intense too. I I just would love to ride it. Uh, I I was that that's only stuff that I've heard, you know, from from others. But yeah, it's a crazy wooden coaster. It looks awesome, and it's not too far from me actually. I I just man, it looks great. Boardwalk Bullet Boardwalk Bullet is the I guess it's the most compact wooden coaster in the world, or the, like, see, like, like it, it packs a lot, of, a lot of track into a one-acre space of land. Thirty-two hundred feet. I mean, just look at it. It, it, it looks pretty small, but it's actually, it's, it, it's very, very twisty. Not, n not too many airtime hills could be packed into that layout. It's ch check out a POV. It's pretty cool. Then we got Ravine Flyer Two, another amazing wooden coaster. Seriously, a big old drop of one hundred twenty feet, and it's, it's just intense. Twisty, uh, some airtime hills, pretty fast too. Man, what 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 a cool coaster! Seriously, go, this thing goes 60 miles per hour, and it's that big. It's cool. Now, and then the first coaster they made outside of the United States it was in China. It's called Fireball, but they don't really call it that. They just call it the Wooden Coaster because it was the first wooden coaster in China, and it's a great coaster as well. It's seriously probably one of the best wooden coasters in the world. I mean, probably top ten, I'd say. Uh, seriously, some great coasters this company's made. And then a small coaster that they made that was still pretty good was Wooden Warrior at Quassi. And when you think of Quassi, you think of Wooden Warrior because, I mean, this is an airtime machine. For a kiddie coaster, it's pretty short and all, 1,200 feet, but, man, it's great. So, like, the entire layout's just intense airtime. And it seriously is intense. Like, it's scary. Well, it's scary. I, I don't personally think of it like that, but it's still a pretty crazy kiddie coaster. Twister at Gronalund's another pretty compact coaster. It's like a bigger than a kitty coaster, but still pretty much a kitty coaster. Some great airtime in this one too. Uh, a little bit longer, a little bit faster, all of that good stuff. It's basically a wooden warrior, but a little bigger. Zippin' Pippin is a rebuilt. This, this is. It wasn't their own layout, but they uh, copied the same layout as a coaster down at down in Memphis. Uh, and it's just kind of a classic Woody. He has some nice air time. As you can see, there's like four air time in a row there. That's cool. And yeah, it's, uh, Beachside Park. Cool stuff. Dueling Dragon. This one is a common one. It's known for its high five element, as you can see in this picture. Uh, one of the great wooden coasters. Seriously, it could be a top ten. It's, it's just great. Uh, yeah. Pretty sweet. And then this one, it's bigger than Dueling Dragon, but this one's, uh, not as good, apparently. I guess this one's kind of rough even now, but it's bigger, too. Um, it's at another ha Happy Valley Park in China, just like this one, and I guess it's just a little rougher. It looks looks pretty good. The PB still looks great. I'd lo love to have it in place of Mean Streak, seriously. Uh, and we don't have a picture of this one. <laughs> uh, it's at Hot Go Park, uh, another park, I think, in China or Japan, whatever. Uh, and it's another... A decent sized gravity group coaster. We need some more of these here. Come on. And then this is crazy. They have six coasters called J Jungle Trailblazer. They, tr Jungle Trailblazer. They have six of them. Um, three of three of the six have a corkscrew inversion, as you can see here. And then there's six of them. They all have kind of kind of the same layouts that j just scaled up or, or down. Like larger overbanks are just taller. It's really interesting how they all. I don't know. If, if you look on Royal Coaster Database, it's it's just crazy. But yeah, so that's the Gravity Group coasters. Next up is an interesting one. We're, we're going to do the few coasters that the Roller Coaster Corporation of America has created. They're pretty interesting coasters. You know, they were the ones who made Son of Beast and the original Rattler. Anyway, 
that was the video. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time.